Ah, let me guess. There's a special little someone in your life that you love to tell and express your feelings to, but you can't seem to get over that little bit of fear to tell them how you feel, and now you hop on your laptop or phone looking for solutions on how to attract that girl, and now you land on this video. Or you're just a subscriber that loves my content, and if that's the case, you drop this. Either way, I'm here to help and assist you on your journey on getting that special girl. Listen, I'm gonna be honest, we need to stop being scared in 2022, man. If I see another one of you kings backing out from telling a girl how you feel, I'm gonna hit you with the cleanest falcon punch on your jawline. For the love of God, stop pulling a Mordecai. Like, come on, don't be like this dude. But wait, King Theodore, in one of your videos, you said yourself you're too shy to tell a girl how you felt. Isn't this projection? Man, shut your dumb ass up. I'm trying to help you, my boy. I want you to get right. Don't worry about me. I just want to see my homies win at the end of the day. But in all seriousness, I think guys are afraid to ask out girls for these two reasons. Fear and rejection. I'll talk about rejection later, but let's talk about fear first. Fear. What is it? Fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or threat. But what's the fear in this case? Fear can always be a multitude of possibilities. She could have a boyfriend. Maybe her cat fell into the toilet that morning and is having a bad day. I don't know. Or maybe she's a lesbian. Girl, me too. No matter the case, the possibilities that can ruin or lower your chances of attracting her will always be present. Also, not knowing the outcome of what could happen and leaving it up in the air to chance can be really nerve-wracking. You're sweating and anxious, just not knowing what the outcome will be. Or maybe, you do know what the outcome is, but you're not ready to face that reality just yet. It can even be the fear of success. Yeah, that's an actual thing. What if you end up with her, and then she leaves? Or God forbid she chooses to cheat? Whatever the reason might be, listen to me. Forget about the definition I gave you about fear earlier. To me, and many other people use this definition as well, fear is simply false evidence appearing real. As corny as that metaphor is, I agree with it 100%. I think in most instances, we make up terrifying scenarios that may not even be true just because we're that scared. These scenarios get bigger and bigger and we decide not to go for it since we believe in this untrue scenario. Don't live life like that. You remember that quote I put in the beginning of the video? Well, it's true. The best things in life really are on the opposite side of fear. You have the opportunity to make amazing memories and experience such an adventure with someone that piques your interest. Don't let fear take that away from you. Don't focus on the what ifs and just live in the now. Life can be very stressful for many, trust me, I understand, but my man, you gotta live a little. Before you know it, time will pass, so just go for it right now. Alright, now let's talk about rejection. Rejection is gruesome, and if anyone would know that, it'd be me. We've heard the classic statements of, the worst you can say is no, and then she says ew, and the planet literally explodes. I understand that rejection is harmful and can sometimes be heartbreaking, but rejection isn't as bad as it seems. I know it sounds crazy, but just hear me out, King. Rejection is actually a great thing for several reasons. For one, it gives you time to self-reflect and give an introspective view on who you are. I promise I'm not trying to be an asshole, but maybe, and just maybe, you need to work on yourself a little. Maybe they were right about a thing or two. Could you work out more? Maybe you need a fresh fade. Perhaps get your fashion up. I'm not telling you to work hard to fit her standards, but I am saying that maybe you can work on yourself to become even better. You get where I'm coming from? Sometimes the criticisms are accurate and they show where you lack and how you can improve yourself. You look in the mirror and you take that criticism and you say, you know what, I do need to improve myself. Then you start to grind and become the best version of yourself. You're not beating your meat to prawn, you're exercising, you're getting nice haircuts, and you're just leveling up as a whole. Now that you're starting to become him and glowing up, guess who comes around again? The girl that rejected you. Now, the ball's in your court. You can choose to date her or you can use that new self to get the girls that are even better than her. Personally, I'm going with option two. I ain't nobody's plan B. In fact, Suzy, say the line. Either you choose me or you lose me. Do you understand where I'm coming from with this example? Sometimes opinions and criticism can hurt depending on the accuracy of the statement, but you don't have to take it negatively. What I mean by that is we can transform that negative hate and use it to fuel positive energy into something of use. Use that rejection to fuel and ignite the person you can become. Not to match their standards, but to improve your own. Do it for you so that next time even more beautiful girls can't reject you. Another reason why you might get rejected isn't even because of you. Maybe she's struggling with inner demons and she isn't ready to commit to such royalty as yourself. I know nowadays women are wild and give the craziest excuses on why they may not date someone, but believe it or not, not all girls are the same, my G. If this is the case, just keep doing you and stay focused on yourself. Keep on improving because you know you still have a goal to achieve and you must succeed. 
It doesn't matter the reason why you got rejected. What matters is what you do with the rejection. Are you going to sit back and pout or are you going to strive and surpass your limits to become the best so that you can get the girls that are even better than the ones that previously rejected you? The choice is yours to make, but I believe that you should keep striving and bettering yourself all the time regardless of your situation. Honestly, I think perspective is the most important thing in every situation we find ourselves in. It's easy to point out the negatives and downsides in awful situations, but if we take time to point out the positives from it, perhaps we can use that new perspective to grow from it. That's what I'm trying to point out here. Rejection blows, but it can teach us things that we need to work on, reflect on ourselves, or even build mental toughness for harder endeavors in the future so that we can take on even harder rejections ahead. I try my best to see the positives in things, no matter how gruesome the situation can be since it allows me to be at peace. There's this quote from the Bible, and relax, I'm not trying to be preachy or anything, but just hear me out. The scripture says, give thanks in all situations. It isn't an easy task in the slightest, and I know it sounds weird, but it'll make you feel better. Using that negativity and turning it into positive energy could be the most beneficial thing if you use it properly. You may not see it immediately, but if you stay consistent, you're bound to see change. Uh, I'll prove it. Hold, hold on. Exhibit A, Drake, one of the most successful rappers of all time, has been rejected on numerous occasions. He didn't just sit back and quit, he used that energy to create music that would be considered classics for years to come. Exhibit B, we got my boy Michael Jordan. Y'all already know the story, man. He got rejected from his high school team, and now he's the greatest player of all time with six rings under his belt. It don't get much better than that, bruh. Do you need another example? Alright, I got you. The writer for One Punch Man was rejected by so many people because his art was trash. Now he has some of the best drawn and written mangas currently. I can name a bunch more examples, but what am I trying to get at here? These people have faced rejection just like we have, but instead of letting it get them down, it gave them the fuel to create successful projects that are earning them millions of dollars. That could be you dropping that next album in the studio, I don't know. All I'm saying is, don't forget about me when you're famous, King. Also, if you shoot your shot, she just might be into you. You'll never know the truth unless you take that chance, that leap of faith. Believe in yourself a little more and you'd be surprised on how far you can go. I think no matter how it ends, it's all beneficial and falls in your favor. Be open-minded and ruthless and you're bound to land somewhere successfully. Oh, and do not pull a Mordecai for the love of God. You're gonna get rejected for sure if you do. Just be confident, fearless, and be yourself, a king. Now, I won't lie, I used to be really scared and intimidated by fear and rejection. Earlier in the video, I mentioned a storytime episode in my side series on this channel called Diary of a College Kid, which by the way, you should totally check out after this, you'd enjoy it. Anywho, in episode 6, I said this. Oh, it wasn't because she wasn't interested in hanging out, but rather it was because I was too shy to ask. I'm honest first and foremost, and I'll be real. I was scared to tell her how I felt because I was fearful of what potentially could have happened and because of that I missed out on an opportunity that could have been beneficial for me. In all honesty, I don't want you guys to commit the same mistakes that I did. Having that feeling of fear is so frustrating and annoying, especially when you mean well. I've been down this road so many times and I wouldn't wish that on you guys, especially since I consider you guys wonderful people. I love entertaining and making you guys laugh, but above all, I want you to become better people after you watch each video I create. I will say this, ever since that event in episode 6 that took place last year in my real life, I've conquered fear and became infinitely more confident in myself and I just want the same for you. Before I end the video, let's go over a few things. One, I want you to understand that no matter the outcome of you shooting your shot with a certain someone, that it'll always be beneficial and end up in your favor. I'll be the first to admit, sometimes we may not be able to necessarily see the positives in rejection, but trust me when I say this, there are. If you get rejected, you get to fix your gaze upon yourself and to fix up the things that could be holding you back. Not to impress her, but to become better as an individual and get even better girls than the one that originally turned you down. Also, no matter what, you cannot let fear hinder and take away something that can be amazing for you. I don't care what you look like or who you are, you must be confident and stomp out fear. Get that winning mentality under your belt. All I want to do is to see you win. It's your life and you have the potential to do whatever you want with it. Keep pushing and striving for more kings, I'm just here to push you further along your journey. I want to hear your stories on how you became the king that you were meant to be by overcoming your fears and rejection. I said it before and I'll say it until my last video on this site, I'm rooting for you and wish nothing but success for you. Leave your thoughts below as well, are you currently fearful or scared of rejection? Have you overcome that fear? How did it make you a better person? Leave your story for other people to inspire from and I'd love to respond and have a conversation with you. 
If my message resonated and related to you in any way, feel free to drop a like on the video. Lastly, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I have wonderful content like the videos on the screen here, and we're kings on this side of the internet. So subscribe to the channel and become a king today. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day, keep it 100, and I'm out. Peace.